In Syria are celebrating the defeat of ISIS in the former extremist stronghold of Raqqa. Syrian democratic forces say they've eradicated the group from Raqqa after a four-month battle. 95% of the city is now under full control as operations continue to clear militants out of the city. The fall of Raqqa marks a major defeat for ISIS, which has seen its stronghold shrink over the last several months. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us now in studio. Three years ago, General, the Islamic State controlled more than 40% of Iraq and part of Syria. Now most of that control is gone. Uh, how did this happen? You know, it happened with a combination of uh, both Russian as well as U.S.-led coalitions to be able to take down ISIS, and that's been pretty effective. The problem that we're facing now is as they, well, we already took a, a Raqqa back, now we're looking at the oil fields, which is a significant uh, obviously, it's something they need both for the Syrian economy as well as what the United States is looking to do. That's the problem. We'll eventually be at a log ahead as to who takes those oil fields. The oil fields, is that the price for Russia? I think, uh, well, that's the yet to be determined. Russia, from its point of view, and certainly from the economy of Syria, uh, from Syria's point of view, from the United States' point of view, we want to make sure that it goes in the hands of people that are not going to give it back to ISIS. All right, rebuilding Iraq is going to take years. How do you secure that area? They could rebuild it and, you know, terrorists could go right back in there. How do you, how do you secure the it? The only way you secure it is to make sure you have a stable government in Iraq. And right now we're looking at a possibility of not having that happen. The Kurds are looking to having a separate state. If that happens, then you have instability in Iraq and you have a resurgence of not only the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, and in this particular case, ISIS. Where does ISIS go from here at this ISIS point? ISIS probably takes a little bit of a respite, uh, considering what happens with the stability of Syria. If that's stable and they can maintain a good, uh, secure basis for their economy, ISIS will disappear. We have forces in Iraq uh, on Eyewitness News at 5.30 yesterday. We talked about Operation Holiday Cheer, where you could send packages. You started that program with Lieutenant Governor Charlie Fogarty 15 years ago. You actually saw where all those packages I went. I did. I had the opportunity to visit the troops uh, as well in Iraq as well as Afghanistan. I saw the results of that. I saw the things that were packaged and they eventually got to the troops. A tremendous program, good for morale and certainly needed. And if you want to donate to the troops, you can go to our website, WPRI.com. All the information is there for you. General, thank you very much. Thank you.